Hi everyone. So today I want to wire up my uh, Shelly EM or Energy Monitor module. So uh, I've already done a review of this unit. If you've not seen that, check that out. Uh, so we're just going to physically wire to that two of these uh, clamp sensors. So these go over the wires uh, that you want to measure the power consumption. And I'm also going to have to connect this to some power. So I'm in the UK, so I've wired up already a UK socket. And then on the end of that lead, I've put in there two um, one millimeter squared uh, wire ferrules. So I've got a good connection. Um, and then on one of my clamps, I've already put on two half millimeter square ferrules. You can see there, already done. I've got one left to do, so I thought I'd do that quickly uh, with you on film. So I've already stripped back uh, the wire. I've stripped back about 30 millimeters of the uh, red live and black neutral. And then I've just stripped off about 10, 12 millimeters of the copper uh, cable at the end. So these are half mil squared uh, area cables. So I'm gonna need two of these um, half mil squared, or I think they're about uh, uh, 22 gauge, I think. So nice and small. So if I just show you to do that quickly. So bear back the wire. Uh, twist that round just to give it a nice smooth connection no no uh, ends pop over the ferrule just so that it's gone all the way on grab your crimping tool that comes with the kit if you bought it as a kit form just pop that in the clamp and then if you listen as i you can hear that so that's that's clamped on perfect just quickly do the other one Pop the ferrule over the top, make sure that's gone down, seats nicely. Grab the crimp again, put it into the jaws, right up to the edge, pull, and that's done. So if I was to put that into one of the uh, termination points, you can see that it just sticks out a little bit. So you just want to trim that off a tiny bit. So get some wire cutters and just strip off the amount you need. I only need a couple of mil to come off there. So that's all done. So to wire the Shelly, you can see there that's got a number of uh, labels. So if I just get a screwdriver, I can take you through those. So you've got the neutral supply to power the unit. You've got a live supply to power the unit. Then you've got two channels, P1 and P2. P1 positive uh, is for the positive supply from the uh, clamp. And P1 negative is the negative supply. And then the same for channel two, which is P2 positive and P2 negative. So if I do the power supply first, so I'm in the UK. So the color code here is brown live and blue neutral. So if I just take the, the Shelly here, you can see I've got live and neutral here. So if I just pop those into the uh, Shelly terminals there, that may go in quite easily. Get myself a flat screwdriver, tighten those up. No need to over tighten, it's just to get them in there and clamp down. There we go. So. There we are, that's the power supply to the Shelly device itself. And so then next comes the, um, the clamps themselves. They're the ones that I've just prepared um, with the ferrules, but you can also see you get some instruction manuals in the kit. So you can see there, you've got red and black from each of the clamps, red being positive, black being neutral. So let's go ahead and wire those in. So let's get the first one. We'll call that P1. So put red into positive, black into negative. Just hold that there on my finger while I do them up. And then with a flat screwdriver, just tighten those up. There's one. Use the other screwdriver, it's a little bit smaller than I thought. Do that up there and then the other one 
So that's channel one in nice and secure. And then the same for the last clamp, just put that over there. So again, just look for the uh, P2, so I just let that focus a bit there, you've got P2 and P2 negative, so you want the red into the P2 positive and the black into the P2 negative. Just hold that still, grab my screwdriver again, and then just tighten those up. Again, no need to over tighten them, it's just to hold them in, They're not going anywhere. There we are, so that's all done. Ferrules make it look absolutely professional in my opinion, and also you've got a really good solid for pulling those mechanical connection, and there's no chance of any fray wires shorting across any of those connections. So there we have it. So we've got Shelly EM fully wired with a power supply here, and you've got the two clamps here, which are going to go on to measure a couple of circuits. These are the two clamps. These are the 120 uh, amp clamps. Also, you want to take a note on the top of the clamp there. I don't know if you can see it in this light, but there's actually an arrow. So the arrow is the direction of current flow. So you want to make sure when you put the wire through here, the uh, from the supply to the load follows the direction of arrow. No problem if you don't, but it will show as a negative power reading rather than positive if you put those around the wrong way. Anyway, so there you go, all completely wired ready to be installed at my consumer unit, which I'll do in the next video after I've connected the Shelly EM uh, to my uh, home network. So I'll do that next uh, in the next video, and then the video after that will be connecting it all up uh, physically uh, to the circuits I'm monitoring. Hope you found that useful. If you do, please consider subscribing and uh, even hitting that notification bell so you know when the next videos drop, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everyone.